Not too long ago, we presented you everything you needed to know about the upcoming Lord of the Rings live action series that will possibly air around 2020. Today we're going to talk about another fantasy show that is currently being developed for Netflix, The Witcher. You probably know the games, and The Witcher 3 in particular turned Monster Hunter Geralt into an icon. We will now tell you everything you need to know about the upcoming Netflix show and its protagonist Geralt, but be aware that this video will contain spoilers. You have been warned. Shut up. I do what I want. The Monster Hunter Geralt has a long and interesting backstory. It all began with the novels published by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski, and The Witcher's emergence was purely coincidental. Sapkowski used to be a sales representative who decided to participate in a short story competition. His 30-page contribution told the story of The Witcher Geralt and won him the third place. The story was eventually published and raised the interest of several readers. Thus, Sapkowski was more or less forced to continue the story. Several more short stories were released in order to flesh out Geralt's world more thoroughly, and eventually two volumes were published. The Last Wish and The Sword of Destiny. The main plot of Geralt's saga is summed up within a pentalogy, five books that outline his story. These short stories and novels are said to be the inspiration for the upcoming Netflix show. Sapkowski himself will act as a creative advisor, which should come to no surprise, as he witnessed a television adaptation of his Witcher series before and was not exactly fond of it. Back in 2001, a Polish film and a 13-episode TV show were released that first introduced TV viewers to The Witcher. But as mentioned before, Sapkowski was not a fan. No, God! Please, no! The Polish game company CD Projekt Red, however, managed to faithfully adapt the stories of Geralt. The Witcher was published in 2007, which engendered the sequel The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings in 2011, which then was followed up by the hugely successful The Witcher 3. Wild Hunt. CD Projekt Red exposed the player to a huge world populated by monsters, several dangerous yet beautiful and incredible landscapes that almost invited the player to stay there. The game's success is certainly one of the main reasons why the show is being made. It has however been stated that the show is not going to be a beat-by-beat -beat adaptation of the games. The short stories and novels by Sapkowski are the basis for the series, and the first scripts have already been written, as showrunner Lauren schmidt hisrich confirmed on Twitter. The first season is set to consist of 8 episodes, and yet the show won't be able to deny a connection to the games. At least one episode is set to be helmed by Polish director Thomas Baginski. He will also act as one of the show's producers, which is a blessing since he has extensive knowledge on the subject matter. After all, he was responsible for all the cutscenes of the Witcher games. Baginski was previously in talks regarding a feature film, but now that a TV show is scheduled, this project seems to have been put on hold for now. Times have changed. For all of you out there that are not familiar with the books or games, we would now like to take the chance to introduce you to the most important characters of the saga that have already been confirmed by showrunner Hisrich to appear in the show. Let's do this! The world of Geralt the Witcher is a medieval world that features multiple small kingdoms, principalities, but also the huge empire Nilfgaard, which is ruled by the autocratic emperor. The world of Nilfgaard is populated by men, monsters and mythical creatures. Among them dwarfs, elves and other ancient beings. The dwarfs are often depicted as craftsmen and warriors, while the elves are being viewed as inferior, while simultaneously being feared and admired. And this is where the show could really start to adapt the tone of the books, which do not only have satirical elements, but touch on serious issues like racism, for example. We have not had dealings with the dwarves since the dark days. And you know what this dwarf says to that? The Witchers are a small group of people who hunt down monsters like contract killers or mercenaries. Geralt is one of these Witchers, and through him, the player learns about the harsh reality of a Witcher's life. What, what, what are you doing? Killing monsters. 
When Geralt was a child, he was brought to the fortress of Kaer Morhen, where all young apprentices are being trained. These trainees are mostly orphans or children of very poor parents. To qualify as a witcher, they must first master the trial of grasses, a mutation process that is supposed to give the witcher enhanced and supernatural abilities. Unfortunately, only two out of ten younglings tend to make it through the test. The rest either goes mad or simply dies. Geralt made it through this and other ordeals and became a witcher, who eventually was ready to travel the world as a monster hunter. His loyal horse Roach accompanies him during all of his missions. He also has two classic swords that every witcher is equipped with. One is made out of silver and is used to fight supernatural beings. The other one is made out of steel and therefore being used to fight hostile humans. Look, stop that! Chicken! Chicken! Look, I'll have your leg! Geralt, the protagonist of both the games and the short stories, is confirmed to be the lead character of the show as well. But through his travels, we will witness the beginning of a small yet peculiar family. It all begins with the young Siri. And no, we are not talking about Apple's new invention. Aside from Geralt, Siri is the most important character within the saga. After freeing her father from a terrible curse, Geralt demanded a payment. Unbeknownst to him, that payment would come in the form of the young Siri, who hadn't even been born yet. Generally, girls cannot become witchers, but Siri possesses unnatural abilities that multiple interest groups intend to use for themselves. That is why Siri is constantly on the run. One could describe her as Geralt's rebellious adoptive daughter, whom he never wanted to have in the first place, yet feels very responsible for. Siri, take us home. Aside from Siri and Geralt, there is also Yennefer. She is a mighty witch and Geralt's only true love, even though he cheated on her multiple times in the past. They are an odd couple and Yennefer is of great importance to the overall plot. She becomes a mother figure and mentor for Siri and teaches her all about magic. Let's do this. Come back soon, alright? Mm -hmm. See. Another important woman in Geralt's life is Triss Marigold. The extremely beautiful magician is unhappy in love with Geralt, but despite that, managed to become friends with Yennefer, which makes this love triangle more than interesting. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. And just like Yennefer, Triss belongs to a coven of witches. That coven keeps the magic alive. Triss also assumes a protective role for Ciri and becomes a surrogate sister to her. So as you can see, we do have an actual family structure among our characters. And every family needs a crazy uncle. This one has Dandelion. He's a poet, a bard, Geralt's best friend and a real heartthrob among women, who could function as a chronicler for the TV show. So you've heard everything. The Netflix show is set to give us an epic fantasy adventure with multiple fun characters, hopefully great monsters, ambitious fight sequences and beautiful landscapes. The show is rumored to be shot in Europe, which would help create the medieval tone that the series seems to be going for. If everything goes according to plan, the show could be available on Netflix between the end of 2019 and beginning of 2020. The cast list has already been announced. Superman aka Henry Cavill will portray Geralt. The 17-year-old Freya Allen will take on the role of Ciri, and Anya Chalotra will play the part of Yennefer. So aside from Cavill, the show will feature a mostly unknown cast. Thanks for everything. And no, we all miss you, old friend. What do you think of The Witcher? What do you think of the casting choices? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more original content, check out these videos.